Now this is a much more acceptable temperature. Happy Christmas! <laughs> Maddie, leaving her shoes all over the house. Nike Airs with smart trousers. This is a thing people do, right? I've also got my trusty pantaloons on. Now, I have a bad habit of saying at the start of a lot of videos what I'm going to do that day, and then ending up not doing them at all. So I think I want to stop doing that. I'm not going to tell you in advance what's going to happen, but today I am dressed and ready to finally go and pick up this hard drive from the UPS point. As I'm sure you've all been dying to see. You've been waiting on tenter hooks for days. And as you've just seen, it's seven degrees, which I think is well within acceptable parameters for cycling. I'd say it goes from around five degrees up to around 30 degrees, anything outside of that, and you're probably not gonna have a good time. I've cycled in zero degrees before, and it's not fun and I've cycled in, it must have been nearly 40 degrees in Thailand. There was a water park and when we cycled back it was, it must have been mid to late afternoon but there was no clouds in the sky and we were cycling back 20, 30 kilometers. And I remember looking at someone's Garmin and it said, I'm sure it said it was above 40 degrees. And if you remember Nat and Lydia from our videos in Bali and a bit in Thailand, they uh, live up in Leeds, which is the north of England and they, went on a bike ride yesterday, I think it was. I saw the Instagram story this morning and on their Garmin it said minus 5.7 degrees or something like that. I can't believe they were cycling out in that. So it's positively boiling here in Hove by comparison. I'm probably going to end up being too hot now I think about it with all these layers on, but better safe than sorry. Let's go. Got a slight problem. Turns out there were two packages at the Royal Mail office and this one does not fit in my bag so this should be an experience trying to get this home on a bike. So apparently they only keep packages there for a week so it's gone all the way back to UPS because it's raining too much. I'm using the GoPro. That wasn't very fun. I couldn't fit both packages in one bag so I had to carry one in my hand as I cycled. And then it started pouring with rain. I think if there was one spell I could take from the Harry Potter world, it would be that one that they use in the Quidditch match to make his glasses waterproof. Hmm. The impervious one. That he just got an intriguing package. How to tushy. Drop your duty, spray your bum with tushy, pat dry and... Ta-da! <laughs> Whoa. Oh, he fell down. I have to move him. Oh, look. Look at the packaging. Oh. oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. So this is basically, uh, what are they called again? B-Day. Mm. Bum gun. What settings have we got? Nozzle, bum wash. What's the difference? I don't know. You'll find out on your bum soon enough. Yeah. I'm kind of excited for this. I thought in Asia I would absolutely hate having to use a bum gun, but in the end I grew to love it. Yeah, basically this company sent me the funniest email I've ever received from a company and I was like, yes, I'm answering this. It's basically like, the, the title of the email was To Fellow Poop Samaritan, and it basically was telling you, it was just emailing me about um, their product, which is a uh, bum gun, it's not a bum gun, what's it called? A bidet that you yeah. attach to your 
toilet and it's really easy to install and um, it basically just reduces your carbon footprint because you're not using as much loo roll. So you just wash your bum before you use your loo roll or if you want to not use loo roll at all, you wash your bum and then you can use a cloth that you then wash. Um, which I would like to do, Alex is not so keen. Um, I think we should try it at first and use the toilet roll. Well, you need loads of cloths so you have to wash them like twice a day. Basically what people do is, in, in the zero waste world, they, um, you get loads of scraps of old clothes. So if you want to get rid of like an old t-shirt, you basically just sew around the edge of you, like cut it up into scraps of like square paper, square, square material, then you sew around the edge and you just use those. You have like a box next to your toilet. He's left the room. The amount of times I talk and he just leaves the room. Oh, you're talking to the camera? I was talking to you, oh, explaining sorry. it. No, I remember you saying that. I remember how it works. Yeah, you like basically get like a box of cloths that you can just use to um, wipe your bum after the loo. And if you're using a bidet, um, my experience from using them in Asia is that once you've used it, you're, you know, you're clean. So the cloth is just a pat dry, really. It there's nothing, you know, there. So um, you use that and then you put it in another, another box to wash and then you just wash them all afterwards and I just think that's the way forward really and it's having maybe like one um you know box of toilet roll that you would use if guests were over or if you really needed to and but that's how I would like to do it because if you go for a wee then you know using a cloth to pat dry like what's the, what's the harm in that you know if you've used the day, I think that's just so much better mm, I suppose you know in Asia like people don't use loo roll the amount of places you go to they don't have loo roll that's kind of like and sometimes the B-Day wouldn't even be working. But I'm excited to try this out. I will probably do um, a whole review and video on it on my channel when I've like used it and we've maybe yeah. made some cloths and stuff. Oh gosh. Oh. Yeah, so I have to figure this whole <laughs> contraption out. But I'm, I've, I've just got a few bits for a gift guide. So some more stuff from Koja Beauty. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna film my gift guide now. Excuse the bad lighting again. Here's mine and Maddie's dinner for this evening. Maddie whipped up these burgers out of the packet and popped all these toppings on, quick and easy. And here is Mr. Video finally editing. Had quite a few hiccups with it today. Hello everybody. It is much later, as you've probably guessed, and very windy. I hadn't accounted for this, this is annoying. Anyway, I'm just back from Tesco. Tesco is just shut. I just ran over there to grab a few things for tomorrow, and I saw a fox on the way out. He was just chilling in the road probably waiting around Tesco for all the uh, old food to be chucked out. Today's video has had numerous problems when I was editing and putting it up, which means that it's up pretty late. This is yesterday's video I'm talking about. Uh, so I apologize for that. It feels like the whole hard drive saga, it being sent back to UPS is, uh, and all the rain, and it's all dampened my spirits. I didn't even have time to ring UPS in the end, I'll have to do that in the morning. I didn't really want to go on about the hard drive and all the Premiere Pro issues because that gets a bit tiresome, that's just part of the job. But hopefully I'm over the hump with it all. <laughs> I think these past few vlogs haven't been very Christmassy, have they? It's called Vlogmas for a reason. So I reckon me and Maddie are just going to take some time to do more Christmassy things. Less sort of daily vlogging and more Christmas activities, like I've just been to Tesco to grab some mince pie ingredients. So that should be fun, because I've never actually made them before. Probably end up being a disaster, though Maddie informs me they are pretty easy to make. I've been feeling glum in some respects, but in another way I've been feeling pretty inspired. I just really want to get out on the bike. I really want to go for a nice bike ride, wherever it is, you know, and just zone out for a few hours. It's great. I said before how Nat and Lydia went out on their bikes this morning even though it was minus five. And that's actually really inspired me. I think I want to go back and set up Maddie's old Garmin that we never managed to do in Thailand. Yeah, I'll get that ready for tomorrow. I think that'd be really fun. Have a little bike ride, make some mince pies, and just make the most of the day. All right, back home now. Sorry this video has been a bit of a fail. Sometimes that's just life, you know? But rest assured that more Christmassy content is on the way. Isn't it, Mads? She says yes. Is that from that John Lewis advert? Someone had it on Instagram story. Colette. And I want okay. to listen to it. Alright, we're going to go listen to some relaxing music mm. as the lens steams up further and further. And I'll see you tomorrow for some mince pies. Bye-bye.